Did you know Kanye West? Yes, the famous recording artist is an art school dropout. Good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about Kanye West and the art school. I know these two might not be related for you, even this topic is not related in your opinion perhaps to my channel, but today I want to talk about it because you know, yesterday I made a video on the art school dropout, whether you should drop out of art school and on our Instagram, we posted a quote of Kanye West on his reasons of dropping out of art school and pursue a music career. And many people was leaving a lot of comments were not so nice. They were like a very extreme or like full of hatred. And it kind of surprised me and I want to talk about it. I think definitely we should like face this matter and talk thoroughly about it. For those of you who don't know who is Kanye West, like I didn't know because I only heard his name before. I didn't really know his music, his story because I grew up in China. We have a different trends, different culture, different kind of music industry. So totally it was not uh, in my radar. And uh, when I digged into his life, I realized that he had a quite an interesting life. Let's have a look at his bio. He was born in 1977 in a middle-class family. His parents divorced and he was raised by his mother who is a doctor in English language and a professor in different universities in Chicago. And since he was young, he was exposed to many different kinds of art forms. He was writing poetry, he was doing music, and he was also painting and drawing. So he was kind of the typically talented kid with good family education, early exposure to different kinds of art. Eventually, he received a scholarship to attend American Academy of Art in 1997, and he later transferred to Chicago State University to study English, where his mother was teaching. He didn't finish this Chicago State University either. He dropped out again, and he made an album, for his first album called The College Dropout, quite literal. Although his family did not really agree, nevertheless, they were very supportive, and he was able to, let's say, make it as a career, as a recording artist. The rest is history, and you know that already probably from different media. After his worldwide wild success, uh, recently, I think in 2015, he received the honorary doctorate from the Saik School of Art Institute of Chicago, one of the top ranking art schools in the world. And I understand for those of you who are jealous, like I am jealous myself. I would like to be born in a middle class family, receive this early on education in different arts. I would like to have a very supportive family for whatever decisions I make will be there and supporting me all along my way. And that's definitely something not everyone is lucky enough to have, especially to be born, let's say, healthy, in a good family, in a developed country, even the best economy in the world. This is definitely luck. Of course, we all have our advantages and disadvantages when we were born, whichever family we were born as, as yourself. No matter how, let's say, unlucky you were born, you can always use it as your advantage. That is totally a different matter. And besides all of that he was born into, he had the courage to choose his career path, quit school twice, and even quit the school where his mother was working. And that's really something, uh, to really pursue a career in music. And he was not from a musical family, you see, that he had a lot at stake and he persisted and he achieved, overcome many things and he is able to achieve the things he achieved. And just for that, I think he deserves the recognition and the, let's say, the admirance from the people all over the world and alongside with other university and college dropouts like the super ultra successful entrepreneurs, Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates and Steve Jobs, all of the successful people who drop out of college to pursue a career in other field and most of them pursued, let's say, in the entrepreneurship. Perhaps you also quit school to pursue your art just for the courage of being able to give up a already planned glorious future to pursue something of his choice, of his dream, of his passion, that is already worth of the admirance and worth the recognition. Let's go back to the comment. That's the reason I'm making this video. And I can see there are two kind of uh, haters that are targeted at two kind of like the areas of 
hatred, and the number one is his personal choice. Many people was criticizing the, the choice of his partner, that is Kim Kardashian, the TV personality, and the choice of his political standing point that he, some people say he was a Trump supporter. I don't know that. I don't go into the US politics that much. So really, I don't know. But I think for whatever choice he is making, he's just exercising his democratic constitutional rights and it's totally his right to choose whoever he wants to marry, to have children with whoever he wants, as long as they're both willing, he didn't break any law, he can vote, he can be voted. I mean, if you like to live in a democratic world, like the world you are living now, fair enough. Like, you know, deal with it. People is gonna have different opinions, they're gonna live the life they want, and you can also live the life you want. Really don't pick on people's personal choices. It's not very fair, very nice, very like good practice because it can always go against your choices too. And if you don't want that, don't force it on anyone else. And the second thing that I totally understand why many of our artists targeted at him and dislike him for the fact that he gave up his fun art career to pursue a career in music. And in many accounts that in his public interviews, he was saying that fun art or visual art is not a medium, is not a way of communication that he could use to express himself, to get the attention of millions of people, to influence millions of lives. And that's fair enough, because I think it is true, if you look at the facts and numbers and figures, that music indeed can reach more people all over the world, no matter if you're young or old, poor or rich, or like from different part of the world, music can reach and influence many more people's lives than fun or contemporary art could. And let's just pick a random number. Uh, last year, he released the album Ye, I think it's from the Kenya West, the Nye, I don't know, but I think it's a funny name. The first week of streaming online, this album reached 100.1 million on demand audio streams. Each song got on average 25.7 million streams in that period of time. And if I'm not wrong, this figure is just for the first week. And right now this album is still like being sold and we don't know, perhaps it can be sold a lot, a lot more. I'm not an expert in the music industry, but this number really is impressive and I cannot imagine any young visual artist could reach, let's say, this number and get the name known, get the same kind of influence as a pop musician. And I respect that uh, you can have a different choice. You love music or you love art and you choose this to express yourself. That's fair enough. And if your goal is to reach more people, and then like he did, he decided to become a musician to reach more people. And that's his choice. We all have one life. We have 24 hours a day. If you choose music, you can't choose sport. If you choose, you know, fun art, you can't choose music. This is something that you have to make as a personal choice. Many artists were like bashing him for making this choice like unconsciously. I think as an artist it's hard to process the fact that you know being a musician, especially a rapper, pop musician, can have more let's say overall worldwide success than a fun art professional. And this is for any profession this can be very frustrating. So I look through those comments and I see many visual artists were very snobbish, were looking down at musicians saying like, oh you're just an entertainer, you're just a pop star, like TV personality, you're just a blah blah blah. And this attitude says a lot about why perhaps visual art is not a medium, is not a form of expression that can touch people from all over the world, touch different demographic by number, because I can demonstrate it by number in terms of reach and sales and impression and all, all of that. By number, you cannot reach that because your attitude as an artist perhaps is very snobbish and saying that, oh, you know, I'm better than you, I'm, I'm an artist and I can reach more high quality people than the pop star. But people are people, and you cannot say this people is, you know, let's say higher quality people. Okay, they can have different education, they can have different income levels, but if you want to reach people's lives and make an impact in the world, then think again. I challenge you to think again. You really shouldn't categorize people such in a pragmatic way, in a elitist way, so that you disencourage other people from approaching your art. 
Okay, I think I'm going a bit too far from Kanye West as an art school dropout, as his choice to choose music over fine art or visual art, and why that perhaps other artists hated this fact. And there are so many other things I want to say, but I'll say it in another video. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.